Wow, um, so many people, many more than I would have expected and uh, many more who unfortunately couldn't be here, but um, we have streaming so that they can also take part in that. Thank you very much everyone for coming. It's really great to see you all here. Um, I want to give a bit of an update on the state of project um, that is obviously a very um, limited view because Wikidata by now is so big that even me don't know everything that is happening. Um, but still, I hope it is um, useful for you to, to hear that. First of all, five years. Um, we're here for five years. Can I get a show of hands who has been here since the first year? Wow. A round of applause for you. <laughs> Oh no, I should not do that. <laughs> um, well, he, he's fixing that. Who of you is here for only a year or less? Yay, thank you very much for coming. <laughs> and yes, <laughs> everyone else, if you're sitting next to a person who is only here for a year or less, introduce them. Um, welcome them. So let's take a look. Um, why are we actually doing this? We're doing this to give more people more access to more knowledge. But of course, also because geeking out on structured data is kind of fun. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, a lot of, has happened over the last year. Um, I'm only going to give a short overview. Um, by now, we have uh, around 17,600 people who make at least one edit a month. That is really cool. And we're going to talk about this spike a bit more. <laughs> um, about 8,000 people who make five or more edits a month. And the ones I love the most, people who make 100 edits or more of which we have about 1,400. Who of you is among those? Very good. <laughs> Very nice. Um, we've also gotten a lot more content over the years, or over the last year, especially over the last month or two. And by now, we have about uh, 37.8 million items. That's a lot. A lot of concept with concepts in the world we're describing. And we're doing this with uh, about 3,900 properties. Um, I was talking so to someone the other day who was um, mind boggled by this number. Um, but about 2,000 of those are actually external identifiers linking us to other databases. So it's actually a bit less scary than that. <laughs> Um, what we can also see is that we've massively increased uh, how much we know about every concept we have. So uh, a year ago, we were at about five statements per item, meaning we kn knew about five things about everything we have in, in Wikidata. By now, we are at eight over just one year. And again, you can see most of that has happened over the past month or two. We've also made a lot of progress um, in, in terms of how, how multilingual is Wikidata. Um, but through all the imports that have been happening uh, lately, we're kind of losing out again, um, unfortunately. The blue, um, blue line is uh, all the items that have only one label. That means there are a lot of concepts on Wikidata where we only know the name in one language. And that is kind of sad. And I think that's something we, we want to improve over the next year. Another thing um, is this. Uh, this is the 
number of links to other Wikimedia projects that uh, our items have. And as you can see, the number of items that don't have a link to any other Wikimedia projects is increasing a lot as well. And I think that's, um, that's actually a good thing because we, we are growing our scope and we're not only talking about the things that are covered by a Wikipedia. But of course, we are also covering all of these things, which is good. Over the past year, um, the usage on other Wikimedia projects of Wikidata's data has also increased. Um, here you can see some examples of info boxes that are either coming completely from Wikidata or almost completely on different language versions. Um, is anyone here who is coding on these info boxes? Nice. Thank you. <laughs> So over the last year, um, the usage on Wikimedia projects increased by 60% of our data. And most usage we see on Chinese Wikipedia, Commons, Catalan Wikipedia, uh, and Russian Wikipedia. We are also seeing a lot of queries to our Spocker endpoint. Uh, by now, 8.5 million queries uh, per day, um, thanks to the team who is making that not explode <laughs> and keeping up with all your demands. Um, but what was even more impressive for me over the last year when I heard that is that by now, um, one third of all edits in Wikimedia projects is happening on Wikidata. One third. But what's even better, um, as you all know, Wikimedia projects um, were, were not growing anymore. We were not very good at recruiting new editors and, and retaining them and so on. So by now, apparently this trend stopped. And we're back to about 2% growth uh, of non-bot edits in the Wikimedia projects. And almost all of that is happening on Wikidata. So on the, on the technical side, a lot um, has been happening. So for example, we started out with um, experimenting with support for Cytoid to make it easier to add references to data because having references is important. Um, we have um, actually meaningful order of the statements in an item by now. Um, so you, you can easily find what you're looking for. Um, we made sharing on social networks prettier. So um, we've also done a lot of work on data quality. Um, Oris, for example, the, the, the machine learning uh, system that judges edits for how likely they are when, uh, to be vandalism um, has been improved a lot for Wikidata. Um, and it's been expanded um, to try to judge the quality of an item automatically so that in the future you will be able to say, give me all items in a specific area and order them by quality. So I can work on the worst items in, in those uh, areas, for example, or give me the best items in that area so I can showcase them. And the biggest one I think um, is the constraint checks. So they have been, um, around for a long time, but no, not a lot of people were actually able to, to use them because they were very hidden. And we started developing a gadget that now shows you constraints violation right next to the statement when you look at it. So it's much easier to see for everyone where the issues are. If you haven't tried it, uh, give it a try. There was also a lot of improvements around documentation, <laughs> which has always been a bit of a sore spot around Wikidata. There is now um, a page that helps you, um, a portal that helps you around the query service, explains everything. There's a portal for how data donations should work and, and how people can contact the right uh, Wiki projects, for example, what the right tools to use are and so on. 
Um, and then there's tools that are in progress that uh, it would be great if you if you join and and help improve them, which is um, a page for Wikidata in the Wikimedia project, which started out as a page that addresses some of the fears and and issues that people in other Wikimedia projects raise again and again, so that we can address them and and have uh, good answers and pointers to to how to fix uh, issues and so on. And the second one is um, a documentation to make it easier to actually use Wikidata's data in the other Wikimedia projects. The query service uh, has seen a lot of improvements. For example, it now has support for linked data fragments. You can um, write queries that take other Sparkle endpoints uh, into consideration with a uh, federation. Um, unit conversion was added. So you can actually meaningfully query for um, values in different units. Um, and we added a bunch of new visualizations. But the best thing I think, um, which still needs some work, but is already um, helpful, is a new uh, query builder, which uh, lets you click through um, a query for people who don't know Sparkle or who just want to change a part of a Sparkle query. There's also going to be a, a booth where you can test um, a prototype for um, for a similar system. Um, so we can use that in the future to make it easier for Wikipedians, for example, to create queries that will generate list articles on Wikipedia, for example. Um, so if you if you are interested in that, please go to the um, to the booth for that. And of course, you're all doing amazing queries. Um, thank you for sharing some of those on Twitter. <laughs> for example, um, here, plants that have an emoji, very important. <laughs> Useful information to have in Wikidata, clearly. Um, or here, uh, space, um, spacecrafts and missions and what they've been named after. Or um, paintings by Vermeer that have a, a map in them. Or here, um, most gender neutral given names, according to Wikidata. Uh, Kim apparently is high, high up on the list. Um, and this was very interesting for me, most disputed properties, meaning which uh, properties most often have a disputed by uh, qualifier. And apparently, country is only third. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this has to be my favorite. Um, people flew seeds around the moon, planted them in all kinds of places in the United States and I think Brazil. And of course we have them in Wikidata. <laughs> all right. Um, the next thing uh, I have is the article placeholder. Uh, the article placeholder is um, one of the things that's very close to my heart because it is one of the tools that helps us support smaller languages um, and, and give them um, more support through Wikidata, which was what Wikidata is all about, right? Um, and we've improved that, um, for example, by um, making it show up in search engines, allowing you to um, translate um, an article from another language uh, if, if it is available and so on. Then we worked on improving the integration in Wikipedia. Specifically, um, we have this prototype that should in the future help people edit Wikidata directly from Wikipedia. And um, if you want to try that out, we're looking for feedback. Talk to Charlie. Where is Charlie? Yes, there she is. <laughs> Talk to her. Um, we love your feedback because it, it's really not trivial to do this in a way that is both understandable for the Wikipedians, but also does justice to our data model and everything around it. Um, another thing we've done for, for Wikipedia support is making um, our changes show up in um, recent changes and watch lists. Um, in the past, it has only been available in one of two versions of those, and now it is available for everyone. Um, and we're, we've shown more information about which 
um, items are used on a given Wikipedia article, for example, in the page information. To, to make it more transparent where data in that article is actually coming from, which items. A big project um, <laughs> is structured data on commons that's coming up. And um, Sandra will talk more about that uh, in another session. Where's Sandra? Here, yes, her. Um, but to make it short, Wikimedia Commons is a treasure, but there's there's so much amazing um, images, videos, and so on in it, but it's so hard to find anything. Um, just yesterday, I was looking for pictures for my presentation, and it was so frustrating. Um, with the support of Wikibase and, and Wikidata, I hope we can make that much better over the coming years and make it much easier to find stuff on Commons, also for people who do not speak English. And the other big um, venture we're going into is lexicographical data. So data like you would find it on Wiktionary, for example. And um, I will uh, talk more about that tomorrow in a session. And I would love to see many of you there because I think it is um, another important point how Wikidata can support um, more projects inside Wikimedia, but also open up a lot of opportunities for um, projects outside Wikimedia. Wins and challenges of the past year, as I see them. Um, we we had a bit of, uh, actually, I, I believe quite a lot of struggle with coping with the growth of the content and the community. Um, and And this is why I'm so happy to have many of you here so that we can talk about some of those in person and and see which processes, for example, we need to change and, and adapt now that Wikidata is much bigger than it has been um, a year ago or two years ago. Um, <clears throat> another win um, was that um, Freebase ABI was uh, shut down and with that Freebase is, um, is gone. Um, Yes, I, I know. <laughs> um, sorry? <laughs> no, I, I'm very uh, grateful for everything Freebase has done before us, but um, it, it's also good to uh, sunset projects when, when other, others can serve that, that need better. And um, I think it is, it, it is a great thing that um, Freebase has decided to say, yes, Wikidata is the place that, that can now, now serve um, what Freebase has done before. Um, on Wikipedia, um, the person data template and many other like it um, on English Wikipedia and other Wikipedias are um, deprecated or uh, in part gone completely. So um, people on Wikipedia decided that Wikidata um, serves those um, the use of that much better than they uh, they can right now. And we are here for Wikidata Con. <laughs> Um, some of the, the things that, um, in terms of partnerships and, um, that I thought were really great over the last year was, um, for example, uh, the work Mapbox and OpenStreetMap have done on, on Wikidata, the work that my society has done around politicians, um, the work of the GeneWiki team and everything around it, um, and of course, content mine who are, um, doing great work. Um, thank you very much. We've also seen quite a bit more use in um, Quora, for example, who are using our um, ontology to improve their topic tree, or Eurowings, who are using Wikidata's data in their in-flight app. <laughs> yes, it's very cool and unexpected. Uh, <laughs> um, or Ule, who, who is the Finnish broadcasting uh, agency and is using Wikidata's um, ideas to tag their content uh, in a language independent way. People have been building new tools. For example, LibReview, um, which is a website where you can um, publish open, freely licensed reviews of pretty much anything, books, 
um, newspapers, movies, what have you. And um, you can use Wikidata uh, concepts to describe what you're, what you're reviewing or to identify what you're reviewing. There were games. <laughs> Um, and I think the coolest one is uh, probably Guesser, which shows you a picture and a map and makes you and asks you where on this map was this picture taken, and then gives you points based on how close you were. It's actually really hard. <laughs> um, or Stadtland Fluss, uh, Stadtland Wikidata. There's a German game called Stadtland Fluss, um, city, country, river. And it gives you a letter, and then you have to um, find a city, um, a country, and a river starting with that letter. For some letters, this is really hard. <laughs> and um, this uh, Stadtland Wikidata game does it and checks your answers based on the uh, instance of statements in Wikidata. Or here, um, Scolia, um, which shows you information about institutions, scientists, um, publications, what have you, based on the data that is in, in Wikidata. And there will be a presentation around about that tomorrow as well by Finn. Today. Very good. Or here, um, Monumental, which is an app that um, takes the data in Wikidata that is about monuments and presents them to you in a nice way um, with links to Wikipedia, puts them on a map, and you can see pictures of it if there's av pictures available on Wikimedia Commons and so on, which is very nice for planning your trip to a new city, for example. Um, oh, here, that is a tool that uh, helps us better understand the gender gap on Wikidata, but also on Wikipedia. So based on the data that is in Wikidata, it will give you statistics um, on the gender of um, what a Wikipedia, for example, is writing about. So what you can see here is that we have 5.9% uh, uh, articles about females who were born between 1700 and 1709. Um, and there, there's a lot more of those statistics. And it really helps to see where exactly our gaps in the content in Wikidata, but also on Wikipedia, is um, making it easier to, to counter that, uh, the bias we have there. And of course, <laughs> this was the point where I said, OK, we made it. BuzzFeed used our data to write an article that 2016 wasn't actually that terrible. <laughs> All right, what's next? Um, data quality is an important topic. Um, it comes up again and again and again in um, discussions from Wikipedia, for example, um, having the need for m many more references for the data we have um, before, for example, English Wikipedia is able to, to use it. Um, and I think we, we have to increase the data quality in many, many ways. Um, one of them is um, getting a lot more use for our data. Because only if our data is used is it actually going to be kept in a good shape. So if you're working on tools that use Wikidata's data, awesome. Please do more of that. Um, I also think we need better tools and processes, especially processes around um, importing data, like um, making sure it fits what we, with what we have, um, figuring out how that data is uh, probably going to be used and stuff like that. Um, the primary sources tool um, is getting a lift, uh, an uplift right now to then make this a really viable tool for importing data into Wikidata with a human in the loop. Um, I think we need to work on better feedback mechanisms, both with 
people who give us data, but also with people who use our data so that they can tell us um, where, where they find issues in our data and then we can um, work on that. Um, yes, um, but with the amount of data we have now, we, we really need to um, do more automated checks uh, like Fabian has been talking about for Yago. There, there's no way we, we are gonna be able to grow Wikidata without more of that, um, simply because it's too much um, change that is happening on Wikidata. Um, I was talking about the constraint checks that, um, that we, we have improved already, and I think there's a lot more we can do. Um, and another thing I, I have been thinking about for a while is st signed statements. So that institutions, for example, who give us data can actually cryptographically sign a statement and say, yes, this is, this is the data we, we provided to you. And it's easy for us to see when that um, value was changed and the reference no longer, no longer is correct. Then another big area of work that I think we, we need to focus on is making Wikidata more useful inside Wikimedia. So that's um, first of all, working on better relations with Wikipedia editors, um, but also editors on all the other projects. Um, second, making it possible to edit Wikidata directly from Wikipedia. And um, then support for Wikimedia, uh, Wikimedia Commons and Wiktionary um, as the big projects that still need a lot of support from Wikidata. And then there's um, making Wikidata uh, more useful outside Wikimedia. And there, I think we need to work on closer relations with uh, the people who give us data, the people who use our data, um, and as I said, get feedback from them on our data. Um, but also making Wikibase, the software um, powering Wikidata, easier to use and install. And with that, grow an ecosystem around Wikidata um, for a simple reason. I don't believe that we want Wikidata to be this tree in the desert. Um, I don't believe we should be the only ones doing open data. Um, and everything around us is nothing. Um, instead, I think Wikidata should be very central and a very big player in an ecosystem that, um, that links many, many similar projects together. And I hope we can see more of that over the next year. This was Wikidata one year ago. And this is where we are today. Thank you very much. Are there questions? Yes, there. Okay, thank you very much. Here's from Pamel Wikimedia Belgium. Actually, I have two questions. I will put them uh, together. Did you m think about making constraints checking mandatory proactively? I mean, if a constraint is mm. violated, mm -hmm. why do you allow creating the mm -hmm. statement? Mm -hmm. And then a second question is, um, do you think to make statements, marking statements as being doubtful just by clicking? So as then, being not true. So then a user can indicate, mm -hmm. I believe that this statement mm -hmm. might be wrong or mm -hmm. could have a data quality problem. Right. Um, so your first question, do, do uh, I think we should prevent input that violates constraints? Um, no, um, for the simple reason that there's weird stuff in this world, like this woman marrying the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> And, and things like that exist in the world, and Wikidata is built 
to to be able to handle that complexity. Or earlier Fabian was talking about this check that says, okay, um, a person probably shouldn't be sh uh, shouldn't have died before they were born. That makes sense, unless of course they are a time traveler. <laughs> And I'm sure we have some on Wikidata. <laughs> um, so in that sense, no, I don't think so. But what I, where I want to go is make it easier for people to see when they enter data that would violate a constraint. Um, to, to make them think, like, is, it, is this really what I want to put in or is, is there a mistake? Um, and, and I hope that, that that will already get us very far. And your second question was about indi um, indicating that a, um, a statement is, is wrong. Or doubtful. or wrong or doubtful, yes. Um, a large part of that is handled, I would say, by ranks. So that you can say this statement is, um, is deprecated, for example, for something that is no longer considered true in general. Um, there's also the disputed by qualifier, where you can say, OK, the statement is disputed by um, this person, this organization, this body, um, and so on. And I think that uh, already gets us pretty far uh, in modeling. Um, I'm curious about the massive increases uh, this past year and specifically the last few months. Mm -hmm. Could you point at some known or suspected uh, <laughs> culprits? <laughs> yes, I uh, believe I can. Um, it's a lot of imports around scientific papers. Um, do the people who do that want to <laughs> say something about that? <laughs> wait, 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 you can't, they can't hear you. <laughs> okay, uh, well, that is part of the Wikisite project, and we're happy uh, to answer questions right now if they are short, and we're going to give a talk on this later today. Round five, I believe. So you're happy to come and then pon ponder us with more questions there. And you're also all welcome to contribute, whether today or later on. Yes, so please come to the Wikisite session. A large part of, of uh, this, these spikes is coming from there. Um, and the spike in labels, uh, you asked about that, that is um, the same. So a lot of those scientific papers, for example, have a label in one language. So that's why we're seeing the, the spike in, in uh, labels and uh, items with only one label. More questions, yes. Well, I want to add on why we should not restrict uh, the constraint violations. One of your slides, uh, quite some of the properties I proposed for PRDOM is uh, one, and it was expressed as being a disagreed uh, property, dis disputed by. And so in this specific project, we use the disputed by in statements that have both uh, citations that agree on it and that disagree with it. So in that case, the disputed by is not to say the statement is incorrect. It's only there are multiple views, views in this, uh, that there is disagreement within the community. So when you would actually uh, go into saying be restrictive on uh, you don't allow it, you actually go against, in my opinion, to the neutral point of view that you will you stick to one view. I think that's that's uh, yeah. I want to make this point here that we should have in Wikidata the the different possibilities and views of the data. Mm -hmm. Just a point. <laughs> there was another question here. What kind of transparency is there on automatic checks so that people mm -hmm. can see what the rules are mm -hmm. that are being applied? Right. So all the rules are public. If you go to a property, um, for example, instance of, then at the bottom of it, you will have a constraint section that has all the rules that are being uh, taken into account. So uh, anyone can, can view those and um, unless they're heavily protected, also edit those uh, properties. Uh, I have a question about Wikibase. Yes. Uh, so when it comes to encouraging people to use Wikibase, do you think the need to, on top of installing MediaWiki and you know, having the Sparkle, the need to use mm. Lua to have full functionality of everything is a major constraint for the growth of Wikibase by yes. other people? Yes, I, I believe so. 
uh, which is why this is something I, I want us to tackle um, in, in the next year. Because um, right now it's it's way too hard to set up your own Wikibase install installation, and if you want a query service on top of that, it's even harder, um, and it shouldn't be like that. Yes. Excuse me, I have a question. Is mm -hmm. there some investigations uh, which are done to increase the performance of, of Wikidata? We have a lot of um, time out uh, querying when we want to have some uh, query results. And I think. Are yeah. you talking about the query service specifically, or? No, just about increasing the performance to, um, like, to solve that such a problem like this. Um, there, there, there are always there's always work on that. But uh, if if you tell me what specifically, do you mean um, performance of the query service or performance of? A query service, for yes. example. Yes. Okay, then the person behind you is probably the right person uh, to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yes, uh, but uh, basically uh, because of uh, uh, we have uh, hardware that is not changing too much, uh, uh, at least not uh, very fast, and we have growing database, some queries will always be slow. And given that this is a shared service, uh, we have to put limits, uh, otherwise... Uh, other people would be hurt by it. What we are looking into right now is to basically have public and uh, uh, internal service and split uh, uh, basically queries generated by internal Wikidata mechanism like constraint checks, bots, and so on, and uh, users queries, which will give probably both more space to play and run heavier query, but I cannot uh, really promise that all queries would uh, be served uh, in time. Some queries are just uh, too expensive. Right. Uh, like the the new service, probably half a year to a year. Uh, and in general, if if you have some some queries that you believe I'm slower than they should be, talk to me, and we'll see either. Maybe query is bad, maybe service is bad, maybe there is a bug that can be worked around. So talk to me. All right. Someone was quicker. <laughs> <laughs> so hi, um, there are two questions from remote. Uh, oh, I'm, yes. I'm reading them from the Etherpad. Uh -huh. uh, is there a plan for a mobile interface, for a better mobile interface? Mm -hmm. Or at least for a responsive interface mm -hmm. in the in the future. Right. Um, unfortunately, no concrete plans at, at the moment. Um, my hope was that um, when we work on integrating Wikidata editing in Wikipedia, um, that we re redo a lot of our input widgets, which is the big part that's holding back better mobile support, um, and and go from there. Okay, and the second question is: Can we manage the way to, uh, you know, separate the identifiers from the actual properties? This is a question from remote. Eh? Uh, separate how they are already so, uh, separated. Yeah, in, in a in sense that that they have another uh, another letter uh, identifying them, like C or I mm. instead of P for property. Okay. C for catalog or I for identifier. Okay. Um, that's the first time I hear this request. Um, if that person who asked for it uh, would explain a bit more, then we can okay. talk about it. Yep. Just out of curiosity, uh, is this map representing number of it? Um, this is uh, how many or. The lighter the part of the map is, the more items on Wikidata have a geo coordinate in that area. Okay. Okay. And is this published anywhere? Yes, on Commons. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a category Wikidata visualizations or something it's called. Hi, <laughs> Lydia. Um, you made the point that we have a, a, a very large number, I think it was 20 million items with a, a label in only one language. Yes. 
uh, we could reduce that number greatly if we used a bot to copy the existing label to other languages for things mm. where the label is common, like people's names mm. and taxon names and the names of rock bands, mm -hmm. particularly for where they use the same alphabet, such as the Western alphabet. Right. Obviously, that doesn't apply to Arabic or Japanese or whatever. Right. Um, there is some resistance to doing this. Yeah. People say, oh, well, the software should handle that. Right. But I don't see any indication that the software is going to handle that. It, so do you think is. it will, or do you think we should use a bot, or do we still have to wait for people to edit them manually? Um, I, so the Wikibase already has language fallbacks. So if you have... Um, if you look at an item in Swiss German, for example, and there is a German label, then uh, it will show you uh, the German label also if you look at it in Swiss German. Um, and so there, there's a whole chain of how these languages fall back. Everything at the end of that chain is English. So if we if we have an English label um, that at least helps some um, in so for the for the case of copying, if it's the same, I don't think that is necessary because language fallback should handle that if it's put into the English label, where it makes sense, right? Um, yeah, because I I the the stats I showed um, on the one hand it is sad, but I also want to not encourage you to game this <laughs> in the sense that just um, copying labels to to get up these statistics that's maybe not the best thing to do <laughs> um, but like where people really don't know what an item is about because there is no label in their language or any fallback language that they understand those are the cases that we need to fix Yes, there's another question. Uh, I hear. Uh, ah. uh, I think trust is important yes. in the new internet world. And, <laughs> and uh, my feeling is that we get a lot of external sources. Some mm -hmm. are good, some are less good. Uh, shouldn't we have a some kind of ecosystem where we regularly check mm -hmm. data for some facts with the sources we trust most yes. and then document the difference or see if a change has done which we don't like we because, totally should yeah and then <laughs> i would like to see it so that if you have an info box up in wiki tree mm -hmm. wikipedia you can see that this is from a trusted source so you right. as a reader you shouldn't understand all those mm -hmm. external identifiers you need to understand some i think this is better than right yeah. So there are some uh, bot runs already by, I think, Magnus and uh, potentially also other people who are, <coughs> sorry, who are, who are doing these checks and then adding uh, references for, for those external sources. And I think that's one, one area. But the other area is um, automating that, that finding of differences. So you take Wikidata and you take another database like uh, that of the German National Library, for example, and and you you compare the data and then tell Wikidata's editors and the German National Library about differences. So so people can look into okay who who is wrong here or is this a legitimate difference um, and and can fix it. Um, yes, that is definitely something we should have um, and that we will be working on. I don't know yet when we will get to it. All right. Uh, Chandra, okay, yeah. sorry. Um, you <laughs> mentioned in one of your answers uh, input widgets as a as a thing, but not in your description. Could you explain what what that is? That sounds really interesting and important. What input widgets are? Yeah. You, okay. That, that's uh, a roadmap basically, thing. just a little thing you see when you put in a date or a URL or a link to another item. That thing. Yeah. Sorry for using jargon. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Armonia Amanda, and I wanted to uh, answer the question about uh, label, because uh, we actually have a project about names, and it's a really, really complicated matter, and we can't copy a uh, label from one langu language to another without um, having a um, clear 
understanding of what the difficulty are. And uh, we are actually doing it. We are a team doing uh, uh, label copying work uh, slowly because we are doing it cleanly. And please do not ever gamify that because we are not enough human uh, with the uh, understanding of the complexity of the situation to clean up after, after uh, bad game uh, <coughs> understanding. So please do not do that. All right. I would <coughs> wanted to ask what's about scale. So I'm mm -hmm. from the cultural heritage sector and uh, virtually Wikipedia is the perfect platform to document all our cultural heritage with mm -hmm. all uh, the context and so on, statements mm -hmm. about history and so on. And if we guess that we have maybe, I don't know, 40 million works of art um, which are relevant or mm -hmm. like in museums and so on, so there might be then even 10 times more uh, if we start uh, declaring a single chair as a, a work of art or whatever. So that's a really large field. Mm -hmm. So what are the perspectives in this or what are your thoughts mm -hmm. about I how, can tell you my how, thoughts. How, uh, <laughs> yes, okay. Um, how far Wikipedia, uh, Wikidata could be such a platform, mm -hmm. which can then be a wonderful thing for everybody to reference on so we all talk about the same thing and make our statements about it. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I can tell you what I think, right? Um, so there, there are two things to take into consideration for me. And the first thing is... Um, just pushing the data into Wikidata is all nice and good, but what is it going to be used for? Who who is going to use that data to to build a, something, to build an app, to build a visualization, a website, what have you? Um, or who who is going to learn something about the world through that data? Um, and the other thing is um, technical and social scalability of Wikidata. Um, technical. Um, is something I and my team um, are are working on and and um, always have to work on because you're all pushing us to to those limits. Um, but what I'm much more worried about is the social scalability of Wikidata, right? Um, with the people we have um, and and the amount of data we have, if we want to grow the amount of data we have, we also have to grow the amount of people we have taking care of that data, or and give them better tools to do that. And and I think that is something we really need to work on. Yeah. All right, thank you very much for all your questions. We are running out of time, so if you have more questions, please ask after this session in private. Thank you very much. Thank you.